As the lockdown continues and efforts to keep the spread of COVID-19 and save lives continue, many women, girls and children remain vulnerable to domestic and gender-based violence as they are locked down with their abusers and have nowhere to turn to. Cases of gender-based violence have been on the increase since the start of the lockdown in March. Some of those cases have gotten bad to the extent of women and children being killed. An actual breakdown of statistics on the actual cases of gender-based violence could not be accessed. However, Musasa Project Advocacy and Communications Officer Rotina Mafume Musara said the organization had dealt with more than 1,700 GBV cases between March and April which was a worrying trend. She said confinement in homes is nurturing the tension and strain created by health and money uncertainties, thereby increasing isolation of women with violent partners and separating them from people, organizations and resources that can help them. Because people are staying together, they are locked in with abusers, Uh, the home becomes an incubation hub for violence and uh, because of the tightening economic situations in the country you'll find that families are really finding it difficult to harmoniously and peacefully resolve their conflicts such that uh, gender-based violence is on the increase however uh, in terms of service delivery we find that we are facing a myriad of challenges in terms of women accessing um, the service post where they want to be uh, uh, assisted. Uh, they are facing challenges in transportation, for example. It's no longer easy to travel to, to a service post because you need a letter, for example. Uh, to travel, you need to explain again why you are traveling at that particular time. So, for example, if I've been sexually abused, I might not have that letter. And when I go to a, pol- uh, to a roadblock, I might be asked, interrogated even, where are you going? Why do you want to go there? And then it becomes difficult for any woman to then say, I've been sexually uh, molested, I've been raped, I want to go and access a service. Some of the reasons why women are not getting the help they need are that the police are overwhelmed with enforcing lockdown regulations and there are insufficient resources to help those women. Mafume Musara urged authorities to prioritize gender-based violence cases and channel more resources towards service delivery for people facing gender-based violence. Yeah, as Musasa, we are really advocating, we are lobbying, we are negotiating with policymakers that at least um, gender-based violence uh, be taken or declared as an emergency during this uh, COVID-19 period. Um, and this will ensure that also resources are channeled towards, towards gender-based violence service delivery. Women's Academy for Leadership and Political Excellences Program Manager Batanai Mapinde Gwangwa said COVID-19 was exposing pre-existing social norms and gender inequalities that have been ignored for years. She said the reduced activities have resulted in a lot of stresses which people are taking out on each other. She said in as much as some of those cases are spiked by the economic frustrations, existing social norms and inequalities need to be addressed to lessen gender-based violence cases. COVID-19 has just exposed the pre-existing toxic social norms and gender inequalities that we have lived with for years. There's also been uh, economic and social stress caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. I think you can tell that since the pandemic uh, befell us, we have had to reduce our economic activities. We believe that once people are able to do these uh, activities, once they can increase their um, uh, source of incomes, then we can see uh, less and less of cases of gender-based violence. But nevertheless, it does not mean that uh, these economic issues, once they are addressed, then there is an automatic uh, decrease in gender-based violence. Like I said, we have pre-existing social norms and gender inequalities. Those still have to be tackled through uh, attacking systems such as patriarchy. 
end the normalization of uh, violence in our society. Over the years, women's organizations and communities have played a pivotal role in reducing cases of domestic and gender-based violence. However, they need support, especially financially, to acquire required resources to help these women. The government and the police should prioritize these cases of violence against women and children without any impunity to perpetrators. Nyarato Bakari reporting for Amakosegazi Media.